Hey y'all, this is Whitney Nosley. I'm the broker for Whitney Buys Houses and chief investor at Whitney Properties. Today, I'm gonna to show you my exact strategy to get your first rental property without any previous experience. Ooh. Okay, so my goal today is to teach you how to easily and consistently start buying houses in your neighborhood and help you get started towards your path to financial freedom. So please turn off Pinterest and quieten the dog because this stuff is gonna rock your world. Hopefully, everything I'm about to share with you will give you a huge shift in your thinking and help you understand what's actually possible with real estate investing. And I'm not talking about your grandpa's style of investing. Okay, so if you stay with me until the end, I'm gonna give you a secret link to grab a free copy of my 10 simple steps to buy a house today. But I don't wanna hold things up. I've got a bunch of cool things to talk about. So real quick, the title of this presentation today is how to get your first rental property without any previous experience. And I might even tell you a few embarrassing stories from my first few deals. All right, first things first, what makes this webinar different than any other webby that you've ever watched? I'm not going to pitch you to buy anything at the end, all right? So relax, keep your credit card in your wallet where it belongs. This is not that kind of presentation. All right, good. So since I'm not gonna pitch you on anything, let me tell you how I got started because I'm sure you're a little bit curious as to who I am and why I'm qualified to teach people to buy houses. So in the last three years, I've completed over 50 real estate deals without using my license, a bank, my credit, or any real big money. I am heavily licensed in Tennessee and Georgia, as you can see, but out of all of my deals, I decided to keep 19 of those houses, 19 apartment units, and a bunch of random land across East Tennessee. And that's why I coach now, because seriously, like negotiating the deals is my favorite part of real estate. And honestly, it gets kind of boring sometimes towards the middle or end of the month, just waiting on those rent checks to come in. <laughs> I am all real estate all the time. And I started flipping in 09, but I've been doing uh, my own thing for about three years. But it wasn't always rainbows and unicorns for me. All right. Remember, I was a newbie with nothing three short years ago. And some of you probably know this story. But when I first started, I didn't exactly hit it out of the park on my first try. Shocking. I know. Now, I don't usually go into all of this kind of detail, but I think you guys need to hear it, especially if you're in the beginning right now. All right. I when I was getting started, I was trying, trying, trying. I was going to the seminars. I was going to boot camps. I was listening to CDs, pitching on the phone. I was going to sellers houses. I was basically running around crazy, just determined to make this thing work and running off adrenaline, off adrenaline with dollar signs in my eyes. Uh, and then my breaking point happened. My boyfriend busted my bubble. And I'll never forget the drop in altitude that I felt. We were on the phone one night while I was at yet another real estate seminar. And I was rattling on and on about all the great new exciting things I'd learned in class that day. And he said to me, Whip, you clearly have church camp mentality. No one is going to work with you. Nobody needs someone to buy their house this way. It won't work. You've wasted your time and your money on this wild goose chase. It's time to give it up and come back home. Guys, like, I, I hope I don't really have to explain how bad that hurt. I mean, this was my boyfriend. This was the man that I secretly planned on marrying. I was, you know, looking forward to spending the rest of my life with him and building this portfolio of real estate investments with him by my side. I mean, it was unreal. So I went to bed that night completely conflicted and it totally sucked. I tell you that story because a lot of you are maybe in a spot like this. You know, maybe someone special in your life is giving you extra doses of the negative Nancy's or they're trying to keep your feet grounded with their Debbie Downer comments. I think it's time to tell them to shove off. All right. You have hopes and dreams of becoming a hotshot real estate investor. And I know that you can do it. Just for a second here. Imagine what your life will be like after you know how to buy houses in your spare time and collect five or six figure paydays from minimal amounts of work. 
All right, now imagine just for a second how amazing it would feel to shove your first big real estate check in your boss's face as you march out the door. <laughs> or, you know, maybe you're a little bit classier than I am and you would just ever so casually pick up the tab the next time you're at dinner with these party pooper friends who are doubting your house buying abilities. Can you imagine the look on their face? Oh, well, forget about them for a second. What about the look on your mom's face when you buy her a new house? Or the look on your kids' faces when you're able to give them the most magical vacation that they've ever imagined? Or you could finally send them to a fancy private school now that you can afford it without worrying about tuition. Guys, what is your life going to look like a year from now when you're making $10,000 a month easily and consistently? What about in three years? What's your life gonna look like then? I mean, maybe by then we can actually start to think about that elusive creature called retirement. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, well, stick with me, champ. I'm gonna get you there. And hopefully you'll get there faster than I did and maybe even easier than I did. Because along this journey, I've done a lot of things right, but Lord knows I've done a lot of things wrong. <laughs> Like buying this house with the squishy floors and the fleas everywhere that my brother begged me not to buy. But I was stubborn, so I bought it anyway. And guys, it was the most disgusting place that I'd ever been in at the time. <laughs> at the time. <laughs> so anyway, after eight years, you know, I did my first flip in 09. But after eight years of going through lots of real estate transactions, as the investor, the flipper, the buyer, and the seller, I've learned quite a few tricks and tidbits to help you along your journey. Unless you're a stubborn mule and you want to suffer through real estate the hard way yourself, then you may be excused and we'll just catch you on the next go round. All right, so since I know that most of you don't want to suffer the long, hard, winding road and you do want a shortcut to a real estate advantage, go ahead and tell me that in the chat. Say, yes, Whitney, I want to know how to skip years off my plan and go straight to living that lazy landlord lifestyle that you're always talking about. <laughs> All right, well, that's you. The key to trimming years off your learning curve is to master lease options. Well, what is a lease option? Very simply put, it's a, real, it's a really fancy lease agreement that you have with the seller of a property. And in that paperwork, the seller's also agreeing to sell you the property. So you're making payments and you can close on the purchase sometime in the future. All the while, you're making payments and owing less and less to the seller every month. Uh, lease options are also called rent to own, maybe lease with an option to purchase. And sometimes other people, some other people, they'll confuse it with owner financing. But it really is the shortcut to the riches you deserve. Does that make sense? I hope so. I'm going to go over it a little bit more. So stick with me. But that's the basics of a lease option. All right, now in the beginning, I gave you a little snapshot into my portfolio and my track record to date. Now, please understand that I'm not telling you that I have this portfolio to impress you, but really to impress upon you that three years ago, I had nothing. All right, and that's how I know that you can get started quickly on a cash flowing real estate portfolio in just, I mean, 36 months, guys. It's all possible. Now, during this presentation, I'm gonna cover these three core secrets and I want you taking notes. And guys, this slide is just a preview. I'm gonna go into lots of detail in a minute here, okay? All right, so secret number one is the one thing that is gonna allow you to consistently buy houses. You can and you should do real estate deals with lease options every single day. But I understand you're busy. So at least once a month, you should be adding another house to your portfolio. And I mean, guys, that's why people want to get into real estate. So they can build up a portfolio that throws money at them every single month without them having to work. That's the reason we invest in real estate, right? We all want more money. <laughs> All right, secret number two, I want you to understand that you can afford to buy houses because you don't need a bunch of money to buy houses. 
You don't actually need a trust fund or a hefty down payment that took you years to save to become a real estate investor. Whatever your goal is or whatever you want to get out of real estate investing, it's not that far away. In fact, the last three houses that I bought, I only gave the seller a hundred bucks to get the ball rolling. And I know you've got a hundred bucks in your pocket to get started, right? Secret number three is that you only need a few motivated sellers to make this work. And this is going to work in your market, even in your hot sellers market, because anywhere you have houses and you have people, this is going to work. And I'll show you what I mean and how this process looks similar across the country. And guys, trust me, it's way easier to get these sweet deals than you think. I want you to understand that from the beginning. And I have a bonus for you. All right, so those are the th three secrets, but I want you to know that I'm gonna do a live house hunt on this video, okay? And seriously, like as we're going through all of this, if you have any questions, put them in the chat box there, okay? I'm in the chat box and I will be glad to answer any kind of questions that you have, or if you don't wanna ask them out loud in front of the class, send me a message. I would love to talk to you and help you, you know, clarify this so that you can get started in real estate today. I am here to help you. I promise I am. So send me your questions. All right. Now, while we're talking about questions, let me tell you about my first lease option deal where I made 15,000 in eight weeks. Does anybody else want to make 15 grand in just two months? Heck yeah. All right. So the couple that lived in this house wanted to move quickly and they agreed to let me buy the house for what they owed on it and make payments to the bank for the next five years. Well, then I turned around, I found somebody who wanted to move to the area, but they couldn't cash out anything yet because they had an old house back up in Chicago that needed to sell. But they agreed to rent the house from me for as long as it took for their Chicago house to sell. And you can imagine how excited we all were when their Chicago house closed in eight weeks and they could buy this one with cash. Woohoo! Going on that, let me tell you a quick little story about Sherry Williams. Right before my first weekend workshop, she got a contract to buy a vacation rental house with a lease option. Y'all, she's bringing in almost $10,000 a month off her very first lease option deal. And I don't know about you, but if a newbie can go from working 80 hours a week to adding $10,000 a month to her income with one little deal, I would want to know everything I could about that process. You know what I mean? I mean, that's some good stuff. An extra 10 grand a month, heck yeah. And guys, I wanna tell you that that's usually the goal for all of us is $10,000 a month. And I remember, you know, when I first started and I wanted to be a real estate investor, but I wasn't really sure how to do it. My story was very similar. I stumbled at first with this new way of buying houses. I mean, I was a trucker girl. I sold dump trucks. Yeah, I had a real estate license, but I had barely, I mean, I had only used it once and I barely made 1200 bucks. And then, you know, I had to split that with my broker and Uncle Sam. It was a pathetic payday. That's why I say, guys, I've made a lot of mistakes along this road. Like when I started out investing, I didn't have a clue what to do next. But I've learned from my mistakes and from my disasters so that I can help people like you get started and do this themselves on the easy route. All right, guys, trust me, nothing is worse than getting all this real estate information that you've probably been collecting and not being able to use it in the real world because you're just not sure where the next step is. I'm here to help you with that. But anyways. Back to when I got started, I had gotten a few bites on my new plan to do lease options, but I hadn't seen any money yet. And that's when my fears started to creep in. I started doubting myself. And honestly, I had a shit ton of questions. That meant my confidence started slipping and I realized that I needed some accountability and someone to practice with. I just, I wasn't really comfortable with all the information that I'd been gathering. I mean, does anybody else know who that feels? Did I miss anything? Th throw it in the chat box. If you're feeling the same way, say, yes, that's me, Whitney. It's totally cool. I've been there, guys. And if I missed anything here on this slide, I promise I didn't miss it in real life. I very clearly remember breaking down and crying in the kitchen floor one night because I was just so stressed out. So what did I do? Well, the only thing that I knew to do was to throw myself back into another boot camp with Ron Legrand to learn even more about lease options. 
And while I was there, I hired John I. Naughty to be my mentor and guide me through the first six months of real estate investing with lease options. He didn't come cheap at 15 grand, but it was an investment that I knew I needed to get the job done on a tight timeline. And two weeks after I got home, I landed my first seller contract. Eight weeks after that contract was signed, I was grinning ear to ear, jumping up in front of a house and holding a big old $15,000 check. In fact, that story I just told you and my next deal are in Ron Legrand's book, The Less I Do, The More I Make. So I had my mentoring investment back in HIP National Bank, and I was really ready to roll. All right, three weeks later, I had another deal that cashed out for 8,000, then another one for five, then another one for 12. And all in all, I did 14 deals in my very first year, averaging over $10,000 a month. And I know what you're thinking. I mean, who cares if Whitney can do it? That doesn't really help you at all, does it? Well, guys, I want you to understand that I'm just a regular person. All right. Every expert was once a beginner and you can do this. I know you can. And I know you can because Al was able to do this, too. OK, he tried to do a deal for a year and he came to my last weekend workshop. Within a month, he'd closed two deals. He closed two deals on the same day. And guys, he made enough money from the first deal that he was able to buy another house free and clear. Oh, my gosh. Like, And actually, truth be told, after buying the second house, he still had a thousand dollar check in his pocket. Can you imagine making enough money to buy a house without a loan and walk away from the closing table with money to spare? Oh my gosh, guys, like I get so excited about this and I wanted to tell you Sherry and Al's story for a couple of reasons. Okay, I want you to understand that it's not just me. This isn't the Whitney show. This is happening all the time. And these are people just like you. And I want you to see that because if you can see it, then you'll start to believe it and it really becomes tangible. And then you're going to know that you'll be able to do it too. Also, you don't have to be an extrovert or a real estate professional. Like you don't need a license. If you got one, that's fine, but you don't need a license to buy houses. In fact, a lot of my students will tell you that they picked me to coach them because they're shy in front of strangers and they wanted someone to teach them how to do deals without feeling huge amounts of pressure. OK, so I want you to know that it's people just like you and a few crazy loud people like me. <laughs> but anyways, it's real people with real goals and real lives that are taking my lessons and turning them into their real estate advantage in life. Here's another one of my students. This is Ashley. She's in California and she joined my one on one mentoring program last month and she already has two deals under contract. In fact, this may be the screenshot to, screenshot to the beginning of her third deal. All right. This text came in on Saturday from a seller who had originally told her no how, no way, ain't going to happen. But things have changed in the seller's life and now they want to talk to her more about doing a lease option on their house. <laughs> so I want you to know that every week, one or two or three of my students are sending me messages. They're sending me pictures. They're sending me screenshots. They've got contracts signed. They've got, you know, their records are being broken. I can just hear it on the phone that their confidence is soaring. Their fears are diminishing with every single deal that they do and every little house that they look at. Okay, guys, all of these students are achieving their goals and they're getting to those big checks. They're getting closer and closer to that lazy landlord lifestyle. Like here's some of my friends in Florida that say they're officially investors now. And I'm just so excited to help all of these people realize that real estate really is going to work for them. Okay. Like real estate is possible and anybody can get started in it. All right, so I've mentioned lease options a couple times here and there already, but let me really break it down to you or break it down for you. The one thing that's going to consistently allow you to buy houses for a hundred bucks is a lease option. All right, so imagine someone has a house that they don't want anymore. And there's lots of different reasons that people don't want houses. Some people even forget that they have houses. OK, but maybe they don't want to take the time to list it or they don't have the money to fix it or they don't want to spend the energy to find a tenant for it. It's just easier for them to make the monthly payment and forget about the house. Honest to goodness, guys, these people exist. 
People have houses that they've forgotten about, they haven't seen in years and years and years, and they just don't care about it. All right, so I find these people and I introduce lease options to them and we agree that they'll let me start making the payments. I'm going to buy it for the price that they owe on it and I'm going to close, you know, five or 10 or 15 years into the future. Now, that is the buying side of a lease option. What do I do with these lease options when I get these houses? Well, I find tenant buyers in the market who, you know, most of the time my tenant buyers have questionable credit. Sometimes they have downright ugly credit, but they have it in their mindset that the, all they need is some time and they'll improve their credit. They'll get a mortgage and they'll buy the house. Or maybe they're new to the area and they haven't established two years of a W-2 and a mortgage broker won't talk to them until they do that. That's fine. No problem. Also, amazing tenant buyers are small business owners because a lot of times they're not pretty enough on paper. You know, they do that thing where they take those losses when it's not really actually kind of a loss. I don't understand it completely, but I hear, wink, wink, that people do that. All right, so the tenant buyers give me money to move in. They pay me rent every month, which is more than my mortgage payment, and they buy it for what it's worth. All right, so that's lease options in a nutshell. That's how I make money three different ways. Okay, did you hear that? I buy the house for what is owed on it and I sell it for what it's worth. Sometimes that's $3,000, sometimes that's $30,000, okay? I also take over the payments, but I can rent the house for market rent in the area. And sometimes that's, $200, sometimes that's $500, sometimes that's $1,000 a month in the difference between my payment and what my tenant buyers are sending me. Also, the third way that I make money is in the option fee, that move-in money, all right? I don't give my sellers any money when I take over their house. Maybe a hundred bucks, but not a whole heck of a lot of money, okay? But then my tenant buyers, they give me 10,000, 15,000. Heck, I've even had people give me $40,000 on a $100,000 house to move in and do a rent to own or lease option with me, okay? So who wants to make money three different ways on the same deal for the same amount of work as you know, maybe a wholesale, you could make money three different ways and create a pipeline of cash that comes in every single month. Woohoo! All right, I hope you are just pumped up about these options now. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> all right, but lease options all boil down to two things: what and how. Sorry. I yelled a little bit and lost my voice. Okay. Now, in my first year, I needed to master what kind of houses I was looking to buy and how I could buy these things without going to the bank, without putting my savings on the line, and without risking my credit score. The what and how. All right, now let me tell you that most sellers, especially in America, they've all been brainwashed to think that the only way to buy and sell real estate is with bankers or cold hard cash. And guys, it just isn't true. Lease option deals are in your market, but you have to learn how to sniff them out. So how do we do this? Well, we're trying to figure out what kind of houses to buy and what offers to make. So you've really got to figure out your presentation. You've got to know how to walk through the first conversation, set up the appointment, actually walk the property, and present these offers from the time you get out of the car. All right. Don't let the negotiations boil down to a hard sell when you sit at the kitchen table. Start leaving those breadcrumbs as soon as you get to the house, as soon as you make that first call. All right. And guys, I can't cover all these secrets that I've learned over the last three years in this short amount of time. So let's see how much we can get to. But, you know, I promise if you hang out with me long enough, then you're going to start to do what I teach. And when you do it consistently every single, every single week for, you know, maybe a month or two, 
you're going to really start to figure out what I'm saying. All right. And once you know what to say, when to say it and who to say it to, you're really learning how to solve these sellers problems so that you're always leading the conversation towards a sale. All right, now when I told you the story about Jason breaking my heart earlier, the worst part was that I'd already done a few deals when he said that to me. I knew it was possible. See, I was just in a little bit of a valley and Jason didn't fully understand what I was offering these sellers and how I was helping them. Guys, I was determined to make this thing work and grow it to be bigger, better, and badder than any real estate investing strategy he'd ever imagined. And just on a little side note, we are married now and I serve him a little bit of that every day for breakfast. <laughs> just keeping it real. <laughs> but anyway, after this awful conversation that we have, I woke up with a renewed energy to actually make this lease option thing happen. I realized that so far, I'd only been talking to sellers who lived in their houses and needed to move quickly. Guys, I was missing a huge part of the market. So I opened up my elevator pitch to include people who had inherited properties and just didn't live near them. Hello, absentee owners. Woohoo! So the next thing I did was sign up to host a local booth at a small business expo one weekend. And guys, I am like not even kidding when I tell you that I left that two day event with 30 hot leads from 30 motivated sellers. All right, I was on to something. I'd finally figured out what kinds of houses to buy and what kind of sellers that I needed to talk to and how I could easily, confidently, and consistently make offers on their houses on the spot. All in all, I bought four of those houses that weekend and I made over 25,000 bucks from one weekend of work. All right, that's what really gave me the springboard to jump into more and more deals, all the while getting better and better and better with my speech, my determination, and my enthusiasm to make this thing happen. I cracked the code on what to buy and how to buy it. And guys, that's the real secret to number one. You barely need to invest 10 to 15 hours a week to become a successful real estate investor. And in some markets, you can do it in less time than that. But I know you're in a difficult, hot seller's market right now. And so, yes, maybe your market will be more difficult, especially if you try to do it the regular real estate way. But I'm going to get to you when we get to secret number three. <laughs> so, guys, let me just tell you that it's always been a lease option that saved me. All right. Lease options. When I figured out how to do lease options three years ago, that's what saved me from staying in a regular old job or staying in regular real estate and chasing that clear to close on listed houses. As these big 10, 15 or $40,000 option deposits are no joke. Even, you know, if I get in a tight spot, I know all I need to do is get another house under contract and bada bing, bada boom, we'll be back in action. Or even if I'm not in a tight spot and I just want to go on an extra vacation or I just want to take, you know, a week off or I want to, you know, just hang out with my stepkids. Like, it's no problem. All I got to do is go out there and do a deal. Another thing that's really cool about the way lease options work is you're not only helping yourself, but you're helping your family and your future. You're helping your neighbors. You're helping your town. I mean, you're, you're helping your whole little slice of the world and you can go out and get lease options on houses. You can buy houses without needing a whole bunch of money. All you got to do is shift your mindset that this is going to happen for you. And once you get that first one and you get that taste to know that it's all possible. Now, let me be clear. You might not make $10,000 tomorrow. But once you figure out the what and how of lease options, you're going to be landing deals all day, every day. Like uh, one of my students, Rob, down in Florida, he got my $97 program and the next day he got like a half million dollar house under contract. <laughs> like you have to do what I tell you to do. This isn't a get rich quick plan, but if you do the little baby steps that I tell you to do, you can buy houses. All right, though, let's get on with secret number two. What if I told you that you could do a deal like I did, my first $15,000 deal, 
for just a thousand bucks involved. Would you want to know how to buy a house with a thousand dollars and turn it into 15 in eight weeks? Yeah. Well, what if I told you you could do this with $500? I mean, seriously, if you could buy a house for 500 bucks and then maybe rent it for 800. Hello, yes, please. All right, well, what if I told you that you could do these deals with only $100? <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Exactly. I hope your mind is blown right now because this is not what you learn in regular real estate school. This is not what you're going to learn in, you know, school. This is not what your parents have taught you because this is how much it takes to buy a house. The last three houses that I have bought outside of my area where I'm a newbie, I'm a new investor. I gave the sellers a hundred dollar check and it was mine, baby. So I really want you to understand that your first deal is out there right now and it's waiting on you. Not very patiently, but it is waiting on you. And you don't need a whole big chunk of change to go get it. What's really cool for me is how most of my students only need the right amount of tweaking in their calls or in their listing presentations or, you know, in their appointments to get the deals done and make better offers. And, you know, if you make better offers, you get to cash bigger checks. All right, now let's transition over to secret number three. You only need a few motivated sellers to make this work because this is gonna work in your market, even your hot seller's market. Anywhere that you have houses and you have people, this is gonna work. And it's way easier to get these lease option deals without any money involved than you're probably thinking right now. And I really want you to understand that. All you have to do to figure out the process is what we talked about in secret number one. Okay, it's kind of crazy, I know. But once you know what kind of sellers you need and how you can buy their houses, the transition comes with ease. In fact, here's my three favorite states to do these deals. Obviously, Tennessee is home sweet home to me. So how would you like to become the go-to person in your area when people want to sell a house fast? What about in Georgia? I mean, this is Christina and she bought this house off a of Facebook post. So how would you like to use Facebook to keep your pipeline full of leads? My third favorite house is Alabama. This is Bobby and he went from Sunday to Wednesday and got a contract on a house, okay? How would you like to get a deal under contract in just four days? And does anybody want a vacation rental house in Costa Rica? Because my student Zoe just bought a place in Costa Rica. We're going international, baby. Okay, yeah, maybe you're out in California. I've got probably five or six or eight students in California. That's fine, I understand. It's a tough seller's market out there, but who cares? This is Glenn and he's buying houses virtually. He's buying houses in Ohio and apartments in Texas, all right? So I want you to see how these secrets happen in real life, all right? Are you interested in that? Do you want to go on a live house hunting adventure with me? <laughs> I hope so, hang on just a second. Uh, my friend James called earlier and he's got this deal that he's found and he started telling me about it and I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't we wait and do this later to today when we're doing the webinar? And that way I can teach everybody how to do this at the same time. So, um, James, are you ready? James, are you there? Hello? Oh, you're muted. Okay, hold on just a second. Oh, there you are. Unmute. Hello. Hey. Hi. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So you've got a deal in California or you've got a start to a deal that we're going to see if we can make a deal? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, originally I, I contacted you. I was talking to you about the, the house that I um, that I rent right now. And you were saying that it's possible that I could maybe 
uh, work out something with the landlord. Um, oh my gosh. I'm so glad you mentioned that because um, one of the ladies that I have in Texas, actually, she went through the program and the only reason she went through was so that she could find herself a house. So yes, absolutely. If you're renting or you have kind of questionable credit right now and you, you aren't sure you want to be an investor, but you do want to buy your own house without going through the banks. Absolutely. Good point. Yes. Ah, okay. Well, that's, that's good to know. Um, but in, uh, uh, in the meantime, um, I actually, I tried putting up a Facebook post like you talk about in the, the lead challenge thing that I got from you. Um, and I had a friend of mine actually contact me about a house that they inherited from their aunt who passed away. So that's the one that I kind of wanted to talk to you about today to get some more info if we could, because you wanted to go through the process of. Okay. Awesome. So, um, we're looking on Zillow. <laughs> yeah. So it's, um, I'm on Zillow and it's, um, I live in California and it's the house is in Oxnard, California. So I just pulled up the, this, the, um, the city and then it, it's right, it's right here. Okay. It's, hey. Hang on just a second for me. Um, do me one quick little favor. Uh -huh. if you're looking at Zillow like this. One thing that really helps um, is if you see those red and blue dots up at the top, you see them? Yeah, right up, up, up. Oh, here. Yeah, 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 here. Listing type, yeah, click that. Okay. Okay, and then uncheck potential listings. And that way we're only gonna be looking at the for sale by owners and that gets rid of all those pesky little agents. Oh, cool. Because one of, you know, one thing that I talk about a lot in the program is I have three deal breakers. Uh, one is I want empty houses. Uh, the second one is I want houses that are not listed, that are not on the MLS. And I want houses that are current on their payments. Okay. So if you're behind on payments, I'm not dealing with you. If you're listed, I'm not dealing with you. And if somebody's living in the house, I'm not dealing with you. All right. So this is just a real quick, um, you know, shortcut to finding some for sale by owners. Okay, okay cool. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no, that's great. Um, it's good to know. Um, so you want me to click on the listing here? Yeah. Okay. The 1.3? No, the 409. Okay. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have that handy. I'm going to say, um, we'll knock it out of the park. All right. <laughs> Gosh, that okay. thing's been up for 77 days, though. Maybe we should look at the 1.3, too. Yeah. So, okay. So this is the house. So my friend contacted me and, um, it's, uh, it's their, their aunt's house who passed away. Um, and, uh, they've inherited the house. I guess there are people in it right now. Cause I think she was renting it or something. You, I don't know. I don't really. Will know. you make it bigger? Will you click on that? Uh, 409. Uh, I'm just getting the summary right now. Oh, you're not seeing the whole window here? No. Oh, that's weird. Did it go somewhere else, maybe? Is this, can you see, now I've got the whole page up. No, not on this screen. Is it on a different screen? Uh... Oh, there we got action. Click on the picture. To the right, to the right. Yep. There we go. All right. Very good. Okay. So this house. Okay. It looks good. Yeah, it looks empty. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So this is your friend's aunt's house. Yeah. So, so she passed away and my friend inherited it and um, they responded to the post that they're okay. interested in maybe getting rid of it. So I guess I just don't really know what I'm looking for yet or like what I'm what kind of steps I'm supposed to take next. Um, okay, so I have a seller lead sheet uh, in the program and it'll help you walk through, you know, I've got 10 questions that you really need to ask, but the, the main two questions that you have to know before we can decide, you know, is this the right kind of motivated seller for us is, you know, besides those three, making sure it's not a deal breaker, but you know, how much do they owe on the house? What's the monthly payment? and why do they want to sell it? I guess three questions. How much do they owe? What's the monthly payment? And why do they want to sell it? Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that I, I, if my friend gave me the, all the right info, I believe um, the house was actually paid off. So they oh. don't owe anything on it. Well, that's perfect. Okay. And they will want to get rid of it, obviously, because I guess 
like you were saying earlier, they don't want to deal with the um, the probate stuff, and they're not really interested in owning more property, so they they just inherited it from the aunt. So. Okay, so this is a perfect opportunity for you to get a lease option on this house because you can, you know, you can agree to pay like what, 409, that's what they're asking. Oh, holy, at this point, the Zestimate is actually working in our favor. Usually I hate the Zestimate, every agent I know we hate the Zestimate because it's either really right or really wrong. And in this case, it's playing to our favor though, but it still makes me kind of nervous to go on the Zestimate. But anyway, let's say that the why, why is why is that? Well, the the Zestimate is just a a made up number. I mean, as as an agent, when I sell something on Zillow, I can manually input the sales price. So it's it's to my best interest as an agent to say, hey, I bought this house or I sold this house for the list price. That keeps me in the high rankings on Zillow, and it makes me look good to my sellers that I got the list price. Whereas, you know, maybe if I did list it for four ninety five, maybe I took four twenty five or four fifty for it. But when I entered it into Zillow, I could put anything into it I wanted. Uh. The Zestimate is not a comp. It's not based on facts. Now, good agents, you know, they'll put in the right price, but it'll hurt their Zillow rankings. Okay. Oh, so, human error, maybe. Okay. Okay. All right. So that anyway, right, so that's, that's good. This one's really good though because let's say that it is worth uh four ninety five and you can buy it for four oh nine. If if you can buy it for four oh nine and start making a payment, let's just use fifteen hundred because that's what they've given us here. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome way for every month when you make that payment, that fifteen hundred goes towards your principal every single month. And this house needs a little bit of updating. I can see the kitchen picture up there, so mm -hmm. won't give him any money down. And we can just start making these payments in three months. And even in a hot seller's market, there's no agent in town that's going to walk in and say, hey, I will guarantee you 409. And if not, I'll start making the payments in three months. Like agents don't just start making the payments. So when you come in and start saying that, you're going to be winning ahead of other investors and ahead of other agents, ahead of all sorts of people. Okay. And so why, um, why, why three months? Why am I telling you in three months for the first payment? Uh, well, I like to get three months because it usually takes about 30 days to get the market good and warmed up. Uh, even in a hot market, sometimes things get overlooked or, you know, every six weeks in America, we have a holiday. <laughs> so there's always this roller coaster of people paying attention to the market and not. Uh, but then the second 30 days is really making sure that we're finding the qualified tenants that are gonna take care of the house and make the payments and you know cash us out to actually get a mortgage on it. And those last 30 days, I use those uh, and blame it on my attorney because my attorney, I don't know about yours, but my attorney's pretty famous for just up and going on a vacation and I can't get a deal done for a couple weeks. So okay. for 90 days. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Okay, so I go to my friend and I say, I, I wanna buy your house for 4099. Um, I will start making the mortgage payments in 90 days for 15, 15 a month. Um, because I went to the house, it's it's empty, it looks fine, it doesn't look like there's too many updates, like you, you were saying maybe the kitchen needed to, so I'd have to look at that in person, I guess. Um, but bar barring that, barring like any major changes or upgrades that needed to be done, I just go and say, hey, let me take over the mortgage payments for $1,500 a month and for, the next five to 10 years? Well, this one's free and clear, but yes, if there was a mortgage, you would basically be saying that, yes. Okay, yes. and then, so then what am I do, so then what do I do to make the money on the house? I'm, then I'm gonna rent the house out for more gonna, money? Or? Yeah, you're gonna do the lease option on it, like we talked about earlier, so you'll find somebody that's gonna give you money to move in, and they're gonna pay you maybe 2,000, maybe 2,100 to rent this house from you. Okay. And they'll give you maybe four fifty. Okay. So that you're gonna make money when they move in. You're gonna make about five hundred bucks a month if we're using these numbers, and you'll yeah. make about forty thousand when they go to get a mortgage. Okay. So you're making money three different ways. Awesome. <laughs> I love these options. I love it. And this is a perfect example. Uh, in fact, that other that one point three that had been up for seventy seven days. 
we might just make them an offer too because rich people got problems too. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, I guess I need to get back in touch with my friend and then talk to you some more later. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Let me know what cool. I can do to help. Thanks, Whitney. I appreciate it. Uh huh. All right. Let's see. Are you screen sharing or am I? Mm. Oh, dear. Got the wrong thing up. Okay, let me go back to my slides real quick. Let me see. Where did the slides go? <sighs> okay, and we're back. All right, so let me ask you a question. Are you willing to look silly for about $10,000? I mean, and just a little bit silly. And the reason I ask this is because a lot of people, when they first get started, they don't actually want to get started because they're afraid they're going to look silly. Guys, you know that that in and of itself is keeping you from $10,000, right? This is one of my favorite sayings right now. And sorry, guys. Yes, she believed she could. So she did. Like, even if you're a guy, I want you to like, hold on to that. If you think you can do this, if you think you can become a real estate investor and you believe that you can, you will do it. And that is the hardest hurdle to get over is in your own mind. All right. So for the past little bit, would you agree it's been time well spent so far? And as I've said, you know, I can't cover everything in an hour. So I've got a special offer so that you can get everything you need to know. And if you act fast, I'm going to give you even like a super duper special deal. So old habits die hard. And I get that. You're an adult. You've got pride. You don't want to start talking to sellers. You don't want to look foolish. You don't really want to look silly. But come on, guys, you're going to be thrilled with the opportunities that are going to just start falling in your lap once you really understand and start to love and appreciate lease options in the way that I do. And you start using your real estate advantage to your advantage. Right now, there's sellers in your market and their houses are money in your pocket, but you're afraid of looking silly, so you won't go after those. And guys, you can't live like that anymore. You need your real estate advantage. You need to talk to me. You need to get started in lease options. You need to get started on your portfolio. And guys, even like, you know what I said with James, even if you don't really want to be an investor investor, but you want to buy your own house or, you know, move out of your mom's basement, or maybe you want to get into apartments, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do that, but you have to get started. Okay. So some of the people that this has worked for are real estate agents. A lot of my, especially lady students, they're real estate agents and they're just tired of chasing that clear to close. They're tired of working and being underappreciated. All right. Wholesalers who were preparing to go back to their job and they had one last hope of getting a deal done. Also, newbie investors, you know, a lot of the guys that I work with are in that corporate nine to five. They love their corporate job. They've been climbing the ladder. They just want to start this on the side. And that's totally fine. OK, you don't have to quit your job to go full time investing with my plan, with your real estate advantage. OK, you can do it part time or on the side. And if you're an established investor or maybe it's been 10 or 15 years since you've dipped your toe in the investing water, this is also amazing for you. All right. I built your real estate advantage for people just like you who want to get started or they want to get restarted or they want to learn how to put an extra tool in their tool belt. All right, but guys, when I was making your real estate advantage, I had two choices. And the first option is that I can make it super duper cheap and, you know, skimp over a lot of the good meat and potatoes of it. Or I could like just completely brain dump and give you everything that I know, every strategy, every contract, every system, every way to find off market properties, everything that I knew to do to get a deal under contract. And so that's what I chose. All right. I went with the second option because it is a little bit more expensive. But guys, this is real estate. 
you're going to be buying houses for a hundred dollars not putting your life savings on the line and not doing any bank financing or paying crazy origination fees okay and if you sign up tonight i'm gonna give you my weekend workshop which is a fifteen thousand dollar value if you book a call with me tonight just book a call with me the call is totally free okay once we get on the call, if you want to get started with me, I'm going to give you my weekend workshop for free. For free. But it's limited to 20 people, so you need to book a call with me. We need to talk through this stuff. All right, and here's here's a picture of my last workshop. Uh, I've got a couple pictures stacked up there, actually. Can I get to these others? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Well, here's one picture. <laughs> Sorry, you can't see the others, but that's me. That's the crew that was with me at the last weekend workshop. And you can ask all of these lovely, smiling, happy people how much they learned and how much they enjoyed this workshop. And guys, this house that we looked at, we made an offer on this house. Like when we go on this weekend workshop together, we're going to be making deals happen. That's what's going on at my weekend workshop. All right, so if you book a call with me tonight, I'm also going to give you an hour consultation, which is a thousand dollar value. Okay, we're going to deep dive into your deals. Um, maybe you have some deals going on right now, and even in a hot seller's market, they're just kind of sitting, they're just kind of flat, and you're getting kind of worried and nervous. We're going to talk about those. Or, you know, after the weekend workshop, maybe you have some questions that come up. That's totally fine. I love questions because I've got lots of answers. And if I don't have the right answers, then once you're in the group with me, once you're one of my real estate investing rock stars and REI rock star, I've got five other REI coaches. So that if I'm not the expert on what you're talking about, if it's not a lease option situation, then we'll grab one of the other experts and ask them. I've got an apartment expert. Y'all know I don't like wholesaling, so I've got a wholesaling expert. I've got a uh, retirement expert. So if you've got a self-directed IRA or a 401k, I've got people in there that are going to help you. Oh, vacation rentals. I've got a vacation rental millionaire also in my program so that if you have any questions about you know airbnb or vrbo or you know any of that kind of stuff we can help you we've got the answers to your questions so let me ask you this what is one deal worth to you i mean if you can get one house and you could get it this week and you can make five or ten or twenty five thousand hey maybe you'll get one of those forty thousand dollar option fees like i got and remember, guys, when I say I got $40,000 in an option fee, I still got money per month, all right? And I still got money uh, when they got a mortgage. I'm going to make so much money on that deal. And you might be in a market, this is on a $100,000 house. You might be in a market where you can't buy anything for a hundred or 200,000. That means you're going to be looking at getting 50 or 60 or $90,000 option fees. Holy Toledo, guys. That is amazing. And it's totally possible. And a lot of you, you're paying to get motivated sellers through Zillow or through some kind of uh, on carrot or investor carrot, or you're paying some guru somewhere who's not actually delivering the goods. I'm going to show you how to get those leads for free or darn close to free, okay? You don't need to be paying these big bucks just for a lead generating system. There's other ways to do it. Um, and, you know, I'm including all of this. And so I hope you can see why others are paying me big bucks to teach them the real and really effective real estate marketing methods that are working for me and working for my students all across the country. So if you're able to list or maybe you do like wholesaling, or maybe you want to buy an extra house every week just using these strategies, then this little investment is going to pay off for the rest of your career. This isn't a fee. This isn't just schooling. This is an investment in your future. 
And guys, I got to tell you, I valued, you know, the real estate advantage, your real estate advantage and the weekend workshop and all the freebies I'm going to give you because I've got 11 other bonuses that I'm going to give you. And I valued it over $30,000. And I want to tell you that I'm going to sell this for 10 grand. 10 grand. I mean, 10 grand is what I charge for my one-on-one -on -one students and they pay me. No problem. We're getting deals done too. But because you're special and you've been with me on this webinar, I'm going to make you a special offer to book a call with me using this link on the next page. So I want you to get a pen and paper ready. Okay. Go to start dot whitney nicely dot com and book a free discovery call with me and we're going to talk through your questions we're going to talk through your concerns we'll talk through your fears we're going to talk through some of your dreams and we're going to work together to make sure that your real estate advantage is really going to be your real estate advantage all right you've got lots of questions and that is totally awesome one other thing one other bonus that i i kind of almost forgot about is there's a two question close that I'm going to teach you in your real estate advantage, and it's going to keep you ahead of the competition. So those other investors, those other agents, those other wholesalers in your hot sellers market, we're going to knock them to the curb, baby. We're not even going to let them come up in our territory. And I'm going to give you that when you book a call with me. OK, all you got to do is go to start.whitneynicely.com and book a call with me. It's about a 20 or 30 minute call. It's, it's no big deal. Um, I've got some questions for you. I want to make sure that you are cut out to be a real estate investor because I don't want any sissies in my program. I don't want any whiny little babies in my program. I only want to hang out with action takers. So if you're an action taker and you're ready to stop making excuses and get going, then go right now to start.whitneynicely.com and book a free discovery call with me. Now, I know you've been to other events and you've, uh, you know, you've done other things, but guys, those other opportunities are really just distractions that are going to keep you from hitting your monthly goals. One of the things that I'm going to work with you on is a goal sheet. And we're going to work together so that you have a 30 day action plan so that you know what you're doing, you know why you're doing it and you know, you know, what you're doing is bringing in results because I don't want you to just get into real estate investing or join my program or come to my weekend workshop and not do anything. I want action takers. I want the people who are tired of dealing with, you know, going to a job and not having a retirement and not having the generational wealth to give on to their kids. I want action takers. I want you to go to start.whitneynicely.com. I want you to book a call with me. I want you to stop letting these excuses get in your way. I've already got the game plan for you. Your real estate advantage is waiting on you. Your sellers are waiting on you. That money that you dream about, it's waiting on you. And the first step is to go to start.whitneynicely.com and book a call with me. And I just want to reiterate, guys, I'm, I'm really nothing special, okay? Look, I'm a trucker girl. I'm from East Tennessee. I don't do Facebook ads very well. Uh, I'm a general contractor, but I don't, re I don't build walls. I don't write legal documents. But I can buy a house every single week because I know that I have enough money to do any deal that I want. And I want that to become your motto in life. Unless you want to do it the hard, boring way. I would prefer if you're an action taker, if you're a real action taker like me, then just plug it in and go. I've already gone through all the bumps and bruises. I've already figured out all the pitfalls. I've already made all the mistakes. I want you to skip that and go straight to getting deals done, getting contracts signed, buying houses, making money, honey. I mean, show me the money. <laughs> Guys, it is the last chance. I want you to join me in the lazy landlord lifestyle. 
I want you to really realize that your real estate advantage is wrapped up in lease options. You have all the money that you need to do these deals right now. And this will work in your market. All you gotta do is take the first step and go to start dot whitney nicely dot com you book a free discovery call with me we'll hop on the phone it will really be me okay when you set up call with other people sometimes you get their secretary or an answering service or two or three different people and blah 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 guys you're gonna get me i'm gonna call you we're gonna talk about your deals your situation your market and we're gonna make sure that this is a good fit for you because i care about you and I want action takers. I want next week or next month when I do this presentation, I want a whole new batch of success stories and I want you to be included in that list. Don't wait another minute. Don't wait on another opportunity. This is the moment and this is the opportunity. This is the you know, white flag waving. This is when you have decided to finally take that first step and get started, get really, really started in real estate. This time next year, you're going to be hugging my neck. And I can't wait to see you then. But I'll talk to you later this week. Go ahead, go start.wittynicely.com and book a call with me. Oh, let's talk about it. All right, if y'all have any questions, just go to start.whitneynicely.com and book a call. Send me your questions. Let me know what you're thinking about. I'd love to talk to you. Bye, y'all.